Today we are joined in studio by Oliver Nathan, who's going to tell us a bit about himself before we get the interview started. Oliver, just tell us who you are, where you're from, what you do. Uh, my name's Oliver Nathan. Um, I work uh, as an academic researcher, doing research in education, tertiary education. Um, yeah. Okay. Now, starting from um, the training in preparation for the 2004 Olympics, where you met up with Oscar Pistorius again and you guys got to train together, just tell us a bit more about that. Um, well, <clears throat> I kind of reconnected with Oscar in the pre-preparations for the 2004 Paralympics in Athens, um, and he was, he seemed, always seemed very, uh, very competitive, very determined, and I think he sort of, um, at the Paralympics themselves, he, he really blew people away um, with his determinism and his, his speed, really. Yeah. Mm. And um, also, you know, Oscar from earlier on in life, um, just tell us a bit more about that. Were you guys close at all? Were you just friendly? Well, we, we were friendly in the sort of pre-primary years. Um, I don't have terribly much recollection, um, but I do remember that, that our, my mother and his mother were, 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 were quite friendly and we sort of became friendly through that. But we kind of lost contact. Uh, family moved down to, to, um, to go live down in Port Elizabeth kind of lost contact with him and then, as I said, moved back up to Joburg and then got into the Paralympic squad. I was a swimmer, he was an, ath uh, um, an athlete and then we reconnected like that. Mm. And during the pre-prep for the 2004 Olympics, would you, during that phase, would you consider yourself Oscar's friend or somebody who just knew Oscar growing up? Well, I suppose I'd consider him my friend because, you know, we, we, we'd, had, we'd had that history of growing up younger and, you know, with teammates, you often do become friends, even, yeah, you often do become friends within the context of sort of uh, being around each other for, for ex sort of extended periods of time and yeah. And what was it like training alongside him, even though you guys were doing different sports? Well, I just knew of him very, very hungry to win, very, um, very determined to win, very competitive, uh, yeah. All right. Um, and in terms of his personality, aside from the sport, when you guys were chilling either in the change rooms or you were going out to grab a quick coffee or juice, what kind of person was he like? Well, I think he was, he, he actually su surprisingly, I think a lot of people would be surprised to see he's quite, he's quite relaxed, very fun loving, joking around, laughing around. Yeah, that's, that's the side of him that, that, that I knew. Mm. And with the news that was flying around last week, the allegations that started on Valentine's Day and Thursday, mm. with him having shot his girlfriend at the time, Riva Stienkamp, um, how did you take that news? Oh, I was absolutely devastated. I mean, it was really the last thing I was expecting. I was really, really, really quite upset by, by the news. And, yeah, as, you know, as a friend, as someone you know, whoever it is, you want to give them the benefit of the doubt. So I was, it really was quite, quite devastating. Mm. And before the full report, which still hasn't come out, um, and there were all those rumors over the weekend, they said that a cricket bat was involved and four bullets, and nobody's actually quite sure what happened. Was it self-defense? Wasn't it? Was, what was running through your mind at the time, every time you saw either a hashtag on Twitter or Facebook statuses about the whole incident? Well, really, just to, you know, to try to try give him the benefit of the doubt and let the, let the sort of the process of justice take its course um, and as I was saying you know you, you want to give someone that you know the benefit of the doubt at the end of the day um, yeah mm. and now moving away from the Pistorius case um, and branching out into domestic violence in general in South Africa do you think we have a problem or do you think that enough is being done to actually keep it at a minimum oh, we have we have a huge problem in this country um, there's so many documented cases and what is more scary is the amount of cases that, that go unreported to the police or where the police don't follow up. So we've got a huge problem with, with domestic violence, violence against women and children. Um, and I don't think nearly enough is being done. And, you know, not nearly enough is being done to try and um, solve the problem or even begin to solve, think about ideas to solve the problem. And if you could just share with our viewers at home what what suggestions, if they could ever be put in place, would you put forward in order to help us curb uh, domestic violence? Well, you know, I think it starts at a very young age. Um, I think at its basis, it's a question of what are kids, 
particularly particularly men and boys what are they what do they what do they learn at home kids tend to sort of learn by example um, and what are they shown is are they shown that it's normal or right to treat a woman or treat another person never mind if it's a woman just to treat another person in a certain way in a way that degrades them in a way that they believe that they have power over that person teaching them that that's not necessarily right and and <clears throat> there's, there's a way that you can go about interacting with people that doesn't mean that you're going to be dominant over them. So I think we're living in a society where those kind of values of domination of men over women and men over children in particular um, are, are, are normal. Um, so the problem really does start at home and at, 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 at childhood. And in terms of providing a practical solution, I'm not 100% sure where we actually start. Is there anything you'd like to add? No, not really. All right, thank you so much, Oliver. Absolute pleasure. Great. Thanks, Thanks man. Take it.